concept of pain and the subjugation of pain. When you have your goals set and you're following them step by step, what separates those that become successful and become a standout from the rest of the cookie cutters is the ability to subjugate pain. Now, we all feel pain, various forms of pain, physical pain that limit you, mental pain, emotional pain, as I talked about emotions the other day. And you have to basically remove the basic emotions and think of yourself as a machine. But we're going to feel pain. Your body's going to sense it, and it's, it's there for a reason. And it's also a great limiting factor on quite a number of men and women in society today, regardless of your goals, aspirations, or your purpose here on Earth. Therefore, I would like to discuss what I was taught, what I believe in what I do to subjugate pain over the years. And hopefully the maniacs will, as they always do, come up with some excellent, excellent points to this basic concept. My father had me, as a very young age, running up and down hills in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, behind our house. And there was a very steep grass hill and he would say, hey, for no other reason, let's go outside. Or after we were throwing the football or catching the baseball, he would say, I want to see 10 laps up and down around that tree. And it might have been cold. It might have been a very humid day, but I would do them because he wouldn't let me not finish them. He would say, hey, 10, keep moving. And of course, the fear of, from my father, thank you, Matthew Zarr, was enough as a deterrent for me not to do that. And again, when he got me on a basic weight training program at the age of 13, you know, I found it very difficult. Some of the movements I liked, but then again, some, I was having trouble with squats. And he demanded, he said, before you start loading on the weights, Make sure you have your form correct. And that means your flexibility, your ankle flexibility. And he would have me do many, many reps over and over with an empty bar. I'm talking 100, 100 reps or more over a series of sets until he thought that form was right. And he was right looking back. And you know, but from the 70s, you'd see a lot of guys would use a two by four to squat with to stay upright. But he insisted that, you know, you need to develop the flexibility in the hips and ankles to get down all the way. And it was very painful as a 13 year old to continue to squat like that, but he provided the impetus for me to keep going. And as I learned through football practice, which was the mid eighties, they were very grueling as well twice a day, sometimes three times a day. He purposely would have me walk to practice, he never gave me a ride. And it was a good three or so miles down a hill. And you had your leather, big, heavy equipment bag with your helmet, shoulder pads, you know, your thigh pads, knee pads, which he told me to take out the thigh pads. He said, they're useless. <laughs> no wonder I had bruises all up and down my quads, but from hitting helmets, hitting into them. But the point was, that was discipline. That was painful to have to get up and then walk up that hill after the morning practice. And, you know, in hot, humid August day in Pennsylvania while everybody else got rides or some of the 
richer kids had their own cars and they'd drive up and he would sometimes, because he would plan his vacations around there. When I was, we were younger, we would go to St. Vincent's College to watch the Steelers training camp for his vacation in the summer. And since I got to be in, you know, high school football, we only went to the first week of Steelers camp. And then the rest of the vacation would be spying on me during my high school practices. And he told me one thing. He says, if I if I catch you loafing, I'm going to kick your ass. He says, I don't care if you get whipped in a drill because you come back harder. But I catch you ever loafing or dogging it, not giving it 100 percent on a play. I'm going to kick your ass. Yes, Frank Farmer. Across running those extreme distances builds discipline that's for sure especially in that august heat so but it started earlier than that you know my father would have a few different things at home he would call a gut check and a gut check was he would think of something and so let's see how tough you are and it would uh develop toughness in me which was very important to him well, all the other kids would have their sh- drink sugary Kool-Aid and sodas and eat garbage like that, the candies of the day. Uh, I was I never had ate a candy in my life or any of that kind of garbage. The only candy I ever had was co-workers at the swingers club giving me CBD gummies to take before I go to sleep, and they work pretty well. But... He went by the old Vince Gironda saying, if you something tastes good, spit it out. <laughs> well, the meat and the eggs taste good, so that's a definitely proves Vince wrong. And it's the same thing with uh, make me have a paper route at the age of nine years old, getting up at five or four o'clock in the morning on a school day with a big heavy sack of newspapers and walking up and down those hills of Oakmont in the freezing cold ice or whatever. And that was like an hour and a half and I have to go home and eat and get ready for school. But I did it. And it was mainly to make me tougher, which it certainly was. And there wasn't anything about ever run into the doctor and take an aspirin for things. No, there wasn't, there wasn't an aspirin in the house, believe me. And I see it, and I, if I were to recommend anybody that want to achieve their goals, male, female, young, old, if you want to be the best at something, it's going to require discipline, sacrifice, and subjugating pain. Just like a great bodybuilder, you have to do the things it takes to become a great bodybuilder. And that means training to failure, training heavy, training when you're sore, getting up to train and without the use of stimulants, which I recently undertook. And I'm sort of very pleased at that, that I'm able to train without the stimulants. So any of you aspire to be great, you have to set out your plan Look on the internet, talk to successful people that have done it. But remember, you have to do things other people won't do. You have to go through levels of pain that others won't do. And my belief is always, if you're not going to do it 100%, don't do it. It's as simple as that. Spend your time eating, sleeping, and learning. So, yes, Kaizen all the youth sports. It's, I think it's very dangerous when a young student foregoes the sports arena and undertakes something they see on the internet or video game playing. I think parents, you need to put a stop to that as soon as possible. Uh, the only exception I could make of it child doesn't want to participate in the team sports have him do 
learn martial arts, boxing, powerlifting, bodybuilding, and that type of thing. And give them the encouragement and tools they need to be successful in that. And I'm going to talk about, and I want to send a message if there's any single mothers out there, which I hope there is that are maniacs, that you have to be very, very, very careful in raising those children. And I know it's a struggle and you don't have to subjugate the pain, but it's all about the childness point. And I will that definitely be a topic for another live. But. Having a kid in front of the computer and TV and not training, not being part of team sports, not subjugating pain and everything requires subjugating pain, the military, basic training, even in the business world, those long hours and apprentices put in, sometimes not getting paid, if at all, 12, 14, 16 hour days or more. And it's sad. I don't believe in sleep deprivation, but for limited times, I think it, it builds character, but I wouldn't recommend it. Frank Farmer, another invaluable point. The actions of today's soft culture are the resultant of trying to avoid pain. Subjugation of pain is a rare quality among today's millennials. Biggs Ma asks, what does subjugate mean? Subjugate, in my opinion, means you feel, you recognize the pain, but you deal with it in a way that it doesn't affect you or stop you. Cro-Mags 1120 says, boring. Well, Cro-Mags, all I can say is take heed into the basic message and try to learn something as much as you can. But if it's boring you that much, unfortunately, what are you going to return to? Your video games or your gossip internet or your porn is that more to your liking this isn't so much as entertainment this is education motivation inspiration and a forum for topics for misfit maniacs what happened to delray misfits gear i'm not totally sure but you might want to direct message that that site Fred Lamb says the ability to push through pain is a basic skill everyone must have. Vel Place says we love comfort, and I agree. The comfort of coming home to a nice, air-conditioned, climate-controlled home is essential, free of noise, free of too much artificial light, free of the noise pollution of music or certain kinds of things on a television, which are going to do you no kind of good at all. Plenty of nutritious foods stocked in your cupboards and refrigerators and freezers. Plenty of clean water at your disposal. Yes, that kind of comfort is the kind of comfort we all need. <laughs> Lake Crystal says she did something terrible. How do I get over it? You ask the creator for forgiveness and you say, I will not do it again. And then you move along, you move forward. And make sure you think before you do something or say something. Truth asks, what was me and the Meow Man's training split back in the day? Simple, similar to what it was now. Chest one day maybe back the next, maybe a day off after that, maybe some legs and shoulders, day off, then arms and back again. It's very simple. I'm doing it, trying to go back to a two on one off now myself. Uh, just going for set days to me is just, you know, that's just not the, uh,
it puts you too much. It boxes you in too much. I said, Lenny, you look like you're on opiates or G, LOL. Well, I'm not. <laughs> and if I do, that means that... <laughs> no, I think I have allergies. Is cookie cutters that sounds? I have... Florida, you get, you get bad allergies at certain parts of the year, so... Frank Farmer says subjugate is to bring it under your control. Thank you, Frank. Charlie Conway has thoughts on Loren Condo. Never heard of her. Opinion on Joe Biden? He's just a, a mouthpiece and a bad one at that. He made a good assessment on his role, our United States role in protecting China, but that's just generals telling him what to say. Luckily, he took that advice and not his staff's advice. Patrick, I did try beef liver, didn't like it, but I've been routinely taking desiccated beef liver tablets for well over 30 years, and I hope, hopefully I'll never stop. Scatman, you'd have to ask that website. Can cold showers help build toughness? It's funny you said that. My father used to make us do that as children. And he rarely turned the thermostat up in the winter. So you had, we had plenty of blankets around, let me tell you that. And he claims that when he was in college, he would open the dormitory window at Boston College because it was a big thing to let fresh air in. And I agree with that. You always have to have a good source of air and oxygen when you're sleeping or any other time of the day. Fred Lamb asks, how do I feel about my own online presence? I'm very proud I'm able to do the lives. And like I said, when somebody DMs me, said that they got my lives or Delray Misfits episodes going through a tough time in life, I feel very honored and very gracious that I was able to do that. Joe D, we're all porn addicts. All of us look at it. Water check. Serious water checks these days. However, you know, as soon as we're done launching the lives, or some of you go right to porn after the lives with a click of a finger. <laughs> You'd have to get rid of the device. I'm not peeing that much, Charlie. I really don't. I figure I'm over 300 pounds. Muscle is 75% more water. Therefore, I drink that much. And remember, that and lactose-free whole milk is the only liquids I drink. And that's considered a food. So I'm not putting down ever any sodas or Hawaiian punch or or uh, Kool-Aid. I've tried kefir before. I like it, Big Smile. Thank you, Joe D. It's in the, it's a lot of the mental illness and the uh, unhealthiness and physical decline it's about people under hydrated and not getting the sunlight. JD, if you're able to do weighted dips, just be careful with the shoulder joint, but that's a tremendous movement that Tom Platt's called the upper body squats. I used to be able to do weighted dips, but there's uh, ever since that operation where they removed osteophytes from my left elbow. I haven't been able to do them. And to be honest, I'm on the uh, counterbalanced dip machine. No, Dan St. Fernando, I never have gum problems. Big Ma. Off from the gym is probably two or three weeks. 
with different uh, ailments I may have had. Butter says, those damn birds are chirping like crazy from 5 a.m. If I had a machine gun, I'd tear those trees up. I don't blame you, particularly if your shift or whatever you're doing requires you to go to sleep late at night. Try to get some of those earplugs. And if it's comfortable or feasible, Stan Efferding gets military-style uh Ear mufflers, or what do you call them? They muffle the sound from uh, firearms. And you can't hear anything in that. I stopped wearing a lifting belt years ago, but I may have to try it again and maybe keep my subconsciously knowing to suck my stomach in. I don't know the new study on super AIDS. I'm going to have to look at that. There's the modern day Winston Churchill. Once again, a man that is the example of subjugating pain in many areas. Uh, and he's able to successfully do what he wants to do as far as achieving his goals and still maintain a relationship as well as of being a great father. And he's doing it all. He's doing the weights. He's doing work with the wrestling federations. He's doing the martial arts, the boxing, and being a father and a husband at the same time. And still providing very good information on his Instagram. So the modern day Winston Churchill is one of my, one of the people I look up to these days because, you know, he was growing up in New York. You're surrounded by those cookie cutters and he still is able to do what he wants to do. And People would probably tell him, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, but he does it. D. Tosadori, I'd love to come to Pittsburgh next fall. I'll DM my Instagram so I can get yours. Thank you. Fusion's Kennel wants to become a cop. What type of workout should he do? I would recommend a lot of sprint workouts, pulling weighted sleds. Obviously, some boxing or some type of martial artist and wrestling and the basic movements, your power cleans, like a Frank Farmer type workout, your squats, your power cleans, bench presses, incline presses, military presses, barbell curls, chin ups or pull downs. If you can't chin calf raises, things like that, leg press and some abdominal work. Charlie Conway, I guarantee you, Charlie, you get a hot dominatrix in there and force you to take a cold shower, you'll do it and you'll like it. So when there's what the rest of the warlord told me, there's, when there's a will, there's a way. A lot of those things are cookie cutter on the outside, but if you really think about it, Sticks and stones break bones. Names can't hurt me. Where there's a will, there's a way. Very valuable sayings. What was a tough time for you in my life? That's a good question. Very good question. Alfonso Bernabe says how to deal with finding his dream woman. First of all, make yourself a dream man. And that is number one with confidence, looks. Don't go out drinking and drugging. Eat healthy, eat unprocessed food. Do high intensity cardio. Do the basic tra weight training movements. Have your finances in order. 
and your confidence. And then find out where your dream woman are and hopefully not in a bar or a nightclub. Mark McGinnis says he's starting to think he was wrong about money his whole life. It's not everything, but it's almost everything. Every problem in my life would be solved with more money. Mark, to an extent, I agree with you, but to an extent, I strongly disagree. I strongly disagree. Obviously, if you have no money, you're not going to have much of a life. But if you have some money, you'll be able to do the things that make you your life's purpose. And I would strongly, strongly advise against thinking your life's purpose is to have as much money or the bottom dollar as far as investments, savings, possessions. That is not the way to serve humanity. The way to serve humanity is becoming the best in an occupation that benefits us all or an athletic endeavor, sport that inspires other people to do that or as being a great father, husband, parent, teacher, spreading the you know word of forgiveness and belief in the creator and improving the ability of people to achieve a noble goal. Yes, Fusions Kennel, you're going to need conditioning. A lot of those donut eating fat slobs have been on the force a long time and they have a union, but you notice the younger recruits are all in very good shape. Thank you, Clem's tattoos. Porn does build up test levels. That is true. However, being without porn and looking at women in day to day life, or even just thinking about them builds it up even more. Case in point, most prisoners at institutions have high test levels. And I know there are females, female guards in the male prisons, and we all see how that's been working out, but a lot of the reasons that's why those women's like working in the prisons, because they'll get the attention from these men. They enjoy that. Frank Farmer sleeps with an air purifier fan blowing in the background. Drowns out noise very well. Thank you, Frank. That's a great, great suggestion. Hey, J-Rod. How's the FUBA? Sadly, it's still there a bit, but it's gone down quite a bit because my water retention has gone down and I'm not using my medically prescribed insulin there as well. Richard Greco says the problem with wearing those earplugs is you wouldn't hear if someone's broken into your home. That is, that is a good point, Richard. That is a very good point. Or if one of your kids are screaming or something. Yeah, that's, that is a good point. Fell plays, we fought the wrong enemy. And we helped the wrong side on numerous occasions, too. I own two guns, Dan St. Fernando. Dan St. Fernando, that video with my mother and sister was Big Lenny competes at the Diana Cadu Classic. C-A-D-E-A-U, Diana Cadu. When I become a father, what mistakes will I avoid? He's talking about the ones that I think my father made. Um, he had a tendency to be too antisocial, where when people would want to socialize with him, he would cut him off very abruptly. 
So I'd have to say like that. That's right, barbecue sloths. Know when to flip the switch. Flip the switch. That means all situations require a different switch. James Stack says water check. Thank you, real Delmar. He wants a Robert, please. Robert, please. <laughs> Big Smoss says there's so many steroids and the availability with the internet. It's confusing. Any thoughts on simplifying the idea of taking gear? Yeah. Take a maintenance dose of testosterone and intersperse that with a heavier cycle consisting of double that amount of test or maybe triple and adding a good anabolic such as DECA prim or primabolin or equipoise or dihydroboldin on and maybe occasionally a pre-workout anadrol or dianabol that should definitely help you achieve your size and strength goals which is most of the reason to take a PED as far as anabolics are concerned Charlie Conway says, a lot of people believe I have a steady source of income, like welfare or disability coming in, but you don't want to tell the flans. Please be transparent. No, I have no income at all. None at all. I'm good at budgeting, but I'm not going to go on welfare or disability. I never took a penny from, say, Unemployment, which I was eligible for. Disability, which, you know, arguing as an argument that I'm eligible for that. People have told me that. Or welfare. No. Never took a penny, Charlie. Big Smiles, do I keep in touch with any of my relatives? Sadly, I don't. Very sadly. Barbecue sauce has an interesting question. You know of any good plants I can buy that produce a lot of oxygen? I'm going to do some research on that. I have some outdoor plants over here, as you can see. They're in the corner. And I should get an indoor plant, bedroom plant. Barbecue sauce is water check. Yes. I think I have allergies, Louis Mendoza. Thoughts on John Wayne Gacy, human filth. Big Ma asks, what was something cookie cutter I did growing up? I can think of quite a few things, unfortunately. Uh, feeling left out when I went to Catholic school as far as the kids with their fashions and their music and bringing, uh, and then later in high school, the way kids dressed, I wanted to try to dress like them or believe it or not, Break dancing was the cool thing in junior high, and they had a an assembly, grades nine through twelve at my high school, Riverview High School in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, and everybody was there for another reason. All of a sudden, uh, Lewis Lips, the wide receiver of the Pittsburgh Steelers, asked anyone to come down if they could dance. And 
a few of the ninth graders came down and started break dancing. Everyone started cheering and going crazy. And Lewis Lips was doing it too. And I felt left out. So luckily my father put a stop to that real quick. And I thank him for it. The second time is deciding to get an earring recently after I graduated high school. Before I entered the military, I figured, what the hell? I'm just going to have it for those couple months until I go into basic training. Then I'll throw the earring out. The, ear, the hole in the ear will close. So I went downtown Pittsburgh and got my ear pierced. And that was a mistake because I saw in uh, Flex Magazine that the uh, bodybuilder Brian Buchanan had one when he was training. He was training in overalls. And he had an earring and then he had a, and this was in the late eighties. And I thought, wow, that looks cool. Look at the muscle on this guy. And my father put a stop to that real quick. Thank God. And then I realized once my father was out of the picture, I had to take care of that on my own and sift through the cookie cutter activities and expressions that people use and see the ridiculous uselessness of it. Chemical castration says, if I ever thought I was going to have a heart attack while on drugs? Never, no. Quite the opposite. I, <laughs> I used to breathe better on it. <laughs> Would I have done more damage for that 40 bucks than Jay with the hotel hooker? Um... I, my fetishes are a little different than Jay's. But I don't think so. I think Jay got the most bang for the buck. And he got out of his system. And that's sort of the way to do it. You know, it's reasonably safe. Wouldn't recommend it, but hey, got to get it out of your system sometimes. What YouTube channel do I watch the most? Interesting question, Jack. Overall, I was watching Leo and Longevity the most, and I still go back and watch the former episodes of it but I would I would say Dave Palumbo's probably one of the ones I watch the most if I had to eat fast food what would it be Arby's roast beef sandwiches if I had to no Aristophanes of Athens I do not have a good relationship with my brother. I really don't, unfortunately. <laughs> Dan St. Fernando had a brilliant idea. Brilliant, but I don't know if she's on there. Get a cameo from Christina Broccolini. Dan, that is, I never thought of that, but... I mean, is anybody, can anybody leave this, can anybody leave this live and get on cameo.com and let me know if she is, if she is available on cameo.com. Christina Broccolini, please, somebody let me know. NPC says, do you have a place to stay if you get evicted? No. I'd probably go just to get back on my feet probably close to somewhere where they're giving out some free meals or I'd have to go on the beach or something. I don't know. I never, I have been thinking about it, but now Bruno San Martino was a bull. Quick Bump says break dancing is good for little twerps and little cookie cutters. 
Thank you, Frank Stumpo, for the flank steak. That is about the greatest gift one could give. It's a nice steak. God bless you, Frank Stumpo. Yeah, this is just a few of the cookie cutter stories from the past. Charlie Conway, you are an absolute encyclopedia of misfit knowledge. Me and John communicate quite frequently via text. His son just graduated high school, Riverview High School, and he's off to college to major in business. John's doing very well in his position, very well. John is into a lot of uh, NASCAR and going to Daytona 500, Indianapolis 500, and other races in the area. And he plans on moving a little north from here in Florida as soon as his other child is out of high school and going on to college. So John's a great guy, great father. Aristophanes of Athens says, break dance is pure scum. Yeah, I would agree. Dudek Dudek has a story about the Florida Department of Rev Revenue. This morning, he went to the first floor and it was sworn by people who didn't speak English in line for financial assistance. Unfortunately, yeah, it's all too easy to do that. Biggs Moss says, I've had an STD. Yeah, three or four. Gonorrhea twice, I think they call it the clap. And actually, yeah, you can call uh, crabs an STD, <laughs> although it's a living organism. I had that way back when from coming into the $10 ghetto one-hour hotels. <laughs> and actually, one of the girls I was with, she told me how to get rid of it, and she did. She shaved me. And then we went to the gas station. She pumped gasoline into a large container. I think it was an old uh, Crisco oil container. And she took a, a rag and after she shaved me and rubbed my body with gasoline and then showered me off and those crabs were done. <laughs> Big Zma says, how much time do you spend watching porn every day? I don't look at it every day, but I would say about every third day or twice a week, probably five minutes, 10 minutes. And it's like, it's kind of sad when, I don't know if it's good or bad, but when I look at it, it's like, ah, boring. Oops, I used that word. Well, in the case of porn, I'll use that word. Guess who just arrived? We have a visitor. We have an onyx check. There's my little panther. My little panther. There she is. She's the best kind of pets are the ones that come to you. I call her a gift from God. Just like my little angel. She does she needs no litter box. She doesn't make a mess. I have her food and I have ice cubes in her water over there. She gets wet food in the morning and dry food at night. She comes back, gets some food. She doesn't really like to sleep in the blue container, although during the rainstorm, she did. We had to lead her inside it for her to want to go in there and sleep for some reason. But she'll typically like to sleep in the basket. And when it rains... And we have this umbrella now, so I'll put plastic above the basket to keep it nice and waterproof. Right, Onyx? And I'm, we're still hesitant about letting her inside the house, but she's definitely going to go in there eventually, and I'll have it on film for sure. 
All right, Onyx. Magnus says, do I think cardio, neuro, and kidney toxic effects of nandrolone that are exhibited in studies come solely from the lack of estrogen? When you solo, is there another mechanism? I believe there's another mechanism in that. And I believe it's a progesterone mechanism. So when will the misfits bury hatchet and lift? I think the misfits have buried the hatchet. I totally believe that. Dudek Dudek had to pay fines for his business. Uh, uh. And there's people on the first floor living off the state. Shh. Is a politician or someone going to fix that problem? This is actually my second cat, Big's Ma. I had a cat in 1979. She's a female named Mouser. She was a great indoor outdoor cat. She had kittens. We ended up giving away to, to people that we knew from the church. And Mouser unfortunately passed away in 1992. I'm not really sure about relocating to Naples. That's not really sure right now to give any information. I'd like to stay in the air, I'd, you know. Dudak Dudak had a nice black cat that came to me and she was his cat for years. Then she went out one night and never saw again. Then we saw a bobcat in our yard. Huh. That, that I'd like to see. Thoughts on bipolar disorder. I look at every mental terminology as somewhat, somewhat cookie cutter. I believe it's causes a self-believing effect to a point. However, I definitely would be remiss if I ignored certain characteristics that people exhibited. And I believe the first thing in as far as treatment is, is that person getting enough good oxygen, they're getting enough good deep rapid eye movement sleep, or is their nutrition correct? And by that, I mean, red meat, eggs, butter, milk, and things like that, potatoes, rice, oatmeal, fruits, vegetables, water, certain essential supplements like magnesium, zinc, copper, vitamin C, fish oil, and vitamin D3 in the morning. Robert Banks says, Kimbo is looking down on you from heaven and purring, Lenny. Yes, me and the prince. We miss Kimbo. I guess no Memorial Day reunion. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I'd love one. Would I move if somebody set me up with a one-year apartment lease paid in full? Yes. And as long as I'm able to earn a living too and pay them back after that one year. Butters has a great recommendation, which I will probably do as I eat my meat sauce and pasta this evening. Watch The Dark Side of Psychiatry on YouTube. Thank you, Butters. <laughs> I'd try find out if someone sent it to me, Tris, but definitely not in the budget and not in the goals. The goals are not ooey and gooey now, not at all. 
Eddie Steady, I forgot the pen and paper. Thank you for that check, and hopefully I'll remember it tomorrow. I am feeling healthier, Gabbett. Water retention is gone, but I can still, you know, a left ejection fraction. I could feel it, but I just got to deal with it, go through it. <laughs> what are my skills? Motivation, inspiration, education, and love of others. Thoughts on the Third Reich's treatment of Genovesque people? Well, if you want to put the propaganda to the side, and I admit, unfortunately, euthanasia was part of their national health program. However, people with so-called handicaps were also given an opportunity to provide value to society, and that's not publicized. And they had general health... Uh, German health ministry would send nurses and qualified people to work with these people, say, for instance, in a factory or something that they could provide value to. And that's a fact. And a lot of that, and I see it being having a family member that's living in a group home due to mental health issues, that is not being done. And if it is, it's just being done in a very menial, showy type way. And that's something I have a problem with in the current American healthcare system. People, anybody could provide value, provide a service and encourage them to do so despite the handicaps. And for all the uh, bad propaganda, which a lot of it is true, the Third Reich also made sure certain people with handicaps were providing a skill, which not only helped the country, it helped their self-esteem. And that's the truth. Quick Pump has a very good message. It's good to idolize your father. He represents your heavenly father here on earth. Yes, we're all made in God's image. Would I still want to be put on a plantation to work? Yes, if you get the big tans and the, get me into the breeding part department, for sure. <laughs> Are you going to work at trapeze again? Never say never. Dan, my heart does, my left arm goes numb every once in a while, but not that often especially when I'm not on growth hormone and I'm, I have no plans to be on it anytime soon. Thoughts on Hitler's fascination with aliens? I don't know. I never read much about it. I have to Google that. Love you too, Tam Deal. Dudek, Dudek, I thank you for this. I never crush the garlic. I would just chew it. Dudek, Dudek says crush the garlic. Let it set for 10, five minutes. Then eat it. Clears the arteries. Thank you. I eat, try to eat garlic every night. Mark McGinnis is providing facts. Hitler was a painter and animal rights advocate. Hitler was the first person to introduce animal rights legislation to a government in a country. That is a fact, of course. The they's are not going to say that. Sten Katan, I would certainly like to send my child to a private or Catholic school. 
However, a good homeschooling with a group of people also seems like a viable option. My thoughts on doing cardio twice a day, unless you're doing pre-contest bodybuilding competition and you're really, really working with a good, I hate to say the word coach, but look at yourself. If, if you think that's going to help get rid of that last bit of body fat, you have to, but it can be very catabolic to the muscle cells. Dudek Dudek says when you crush the garlic, it activates the allicin, which clears arteries. The fermented extract works. So do the pills. Thank you. Gabbett has some facts as well. The Third Reich also had the first anti-smoking campaigns. And Hitler wrote about he quit smoking during World War I and called it a nasty habit. To be able to quit during World War I, and a lot of guys, they say that they use smoking to combat and alleviate the stress and the stress of battlefield. And Hitler did it during World War I? That is doubly impressive. Gene Serge, thank you, from Italy. Did anybody do any research on the Christina Broccolini cameo.com availability? Brian Sirius says, eat the skin and onions, garlic, etc. It's the best piece. Thank you. Newport, hello, Australia. Doing well, thank you. Our early morning brisk, the ultimate form of cardio. I think that the ultimate form of healthy cardio Mark McGinnis says, unfortunately, she's not on Cameo. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, Tris, DM me on Instagram. So remember, next time all you maniacs are in the gym and you got those heavy deadlifts and just keep thinking one more, one more, one more, no matter what, one more. Huh, Charlie Conway says Christina has a cameo and it's 15 bucks PayPal for a personal video. Huh, interesting. Michael Thunder, please DM me on the Fasoracetum that upregulates the same receptors. Found a button GHB hit. And it will bring my receptor back via antagonism. That sounds interesting. Thank you. DM my. Instagram, the real Big Lenny Instagram. Big Lenny, Ron on Cut the Interview. Yes, I also interviewed with Bruno. He should be out. very soon. Michael Thunder used that compound for us to seed him and brought the magic back to Fenabuds. Mateo Samuelson says, how do I eat more? Well, first of all, if you're going to eat more, eat more frequently. Secondly, like anything else, and Dave Palumbo talked about this many times, it becomes a matter of subjugating pain. Yes, I've been to jail twice, Big Smile. Hit Mizzen says, man, I'm going to put him to sleep for 20 hours, 28 hours straight. Wow. Rolito asks, have I ever met lifters that are liberals? I met a few. Now, were they serious lifters? No. I do need the pencil and paper. Thank you for the reminder. Many points in training the front of the neck, white dom. 
you get a nice chiseled look. It's good for your uh, very cosmetic. Girls like that look. Trust me. When I got ripped, girls like how my neck and chin looked. Thanks, Dan San Fernando. Appreciate anybody trying to introduce me to Christina some way or another. Sean Rain asks, how do I train neck? That would definitely be the topic for another live. So to stay tuned and you got to be a freak. Yeah, I think it does to an extent, a big neck, unfortunately. Yes, Butters, Cassidy's friend. Mateo Samuelson, why don't you try Diana Ball, 10 milligrams once in the morning, once in the afternoon. That should do the trick for being a freak at your age. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.